time to play Debt. The game show where three debt-laden Americans, just like you, compete to have us pay off all their bills and go home with nothing. <laughs> and now, let's meet today's contestants. I'm Alan, and I'm in debt because I have a major mortgage. I'm Lori, and I'm in debt because I just had to have that convertible BMW. I'm Hanan, and I'm in debt because I went back to school to get my master's degree. Thank you, everybody, and welcome to our show. Well, the country's in debt. You're probably in debt. But most importantly, our three players, Alan, Laurie, and Hanan, have come to us with their real-life debt. And one of them just might be lucky enough to get out of it by the end of the show. So let's get this party started, okay? Our first round is called General Debt. Here are today's categories. yee I'm on the radio. Yeah! Movies that don't live up to their title. Pink or punk? Yeah! And justice for Al. Yeah! And finally, get lost. Yeah! This is an elimination round. Only the two players with the least dead at the end of the round get to move on and have a chance at going home with... Nothing! Precisely. Now, Anand, since you have spent less than your opponents in the game of life, you get the honor of selecting our first category, but to make things fair, we are going to even you all out to the average debt amount of the day. And your average debt comes to $7,508. I'm sorry, $7,518. I shortchanged you. Two final reminders. All the questions on debt take the I am, you are format, and you will be penalized for an incorrect answer. Okay, Hanan, will you please go with the first category? Thanks, Wink. Um, movies that don't live up to their title from minus 250. Here's the question for you players. I'm the Monty Python guy who directed 12 Monkeys, which incidentally is a jip because it doesn't have a dozen simians. Hanan? Terry Gilliam. You are Terry Gilliam. That is correct. For $250, we knocked that off your debt. Next category. Movies that don't live up to their title for minus 200. Here's the question. At two hours and 21 minutes, the movie based on my novel, The Pelican Brief, was anything but brief. Lori. You are John Grisham. Yes, $200 off your debt. Thank you. I'll take Pretty or Punk for minus 150. Now, players, this category is about things that are either pink or punk. Ain't that America for you and me? I'm John Mellencamp's 1983 hit about rose-colored homes. Hanan. You are little pink houses, Wink. That is correct. Movies that don't live up to their title from minus 150. I played the role of Mr. Brown in my film Reservoir Dogs, which doesn't have any dogs in it at all. Hanan. You are Tarantino, Wink. That is correct, Quentin Tarantino. Again. Movies that don't live up to their title from minus 100. I am the Shirley MacLaine movie based on a Robert Harling play that has tons of flowers, but none were actually metal. Alan? You are Steel Magnolias, Wink. Good for $100 off your debt. Select. And justice for Al for two, minus 250. Here's the question. Players, these are all about Al Pacino. I'm the title of a Beatles song, and I'm the 1985 war movie where Al Pacino plays a Scottish immigrant with a Brooklyn accent. <laughs> Revolution. Revolution's the answer. Alan, again, please. And justice for all, minus 200. Starring Al Pacino as a playwright, playwright with five kids, I'm the movie movie that had people screaming, Uncle, Uncle! Hanan. You are Arthur Arthur Wayne. That is correct. Or Arthur Arthur. And justice for all for minus 150. I'm the three named actress who played Big Al's sister in Scarface and his daughter in Two Bits. Mary Elizabeth Mastrantonio is the answer. Hanan, again, please. Uh, get lost for minus 250. Wait. First time in that category. All these questions have some connection to the word lost. Directed by Billy Wilder, I'm the Academy Award-winning picture where alcoholic Ray Milan goes on a serious bender. Hanan. You are the Lost Weekend. Wait. Right. Academy Award Get lost for minus 200. I'm the song that Lisa Lisa and the Colt Jam took to the top of the Billboard charts in 1987. Lost in emotion. Again, Hanan. Get lost, minus 150, Wink. I'm the mythical city that Peter Finch and that breath of fresh air George Kennedy discover in the 1973 film Lost Horizon. 
Alan. You are Shangri-La. Yes, Wink. take me to Shangri-La. Yeehaw, I'm on the road for minus 200. Yeehaw, I'm on the radio. The category is all about country music. My first name's the same as Dana Carvey's character in Wayne's World, so party on with my CDs, The Chase and In Pieces. Hanan. You are Garth Brooks. That is correct. Pinker, Pinker Punk for minus 200. Here's your question. According to my ad, the one that coats is the only one you need. I'm America's number one viscous pink liquid stomach cure-all. Again, Hanan. You are Pepto-Bismol. Right, for another $200. Pinker Punk minus 100. Not to be confused with fiber insulation, I'm the fluffy pink circus treat that's made of spun sugar. Alan? You are cotton candy. That is right, for another hundred for you. Less than two minutes remaining in general debt. Less than two minutes remaining. Go, Alan. Yeehaw, I'm on the radio, minus 250. Here's your question. Players, you Yankees know me for my Frito ads, but I'm famous for my country hits like Take It Back and The Greatest Man I Never Knew. Reba McIntyre, the answer. Alan, again, please. Yeehaw, I'm on the radio, minus 150. Named after a state, I'm the country band who had hits with Feel So Right and Mountain Music. Lori. You're Alabama? Alabama, yes, for 150. Okay, minus 250 for Pete for Punch, please, Wink. You get our detonator, the most difficult question on today's board in the opinion of our producers. Whoever gets it right, it's worth $500. I'm the skinny punk rocker who played with my band, The Stooges, with David Bowie and with myself on my album, The Idiot. The answer is Iggy Pop. Iggy Pop. Lori, again, select please. Okay, I will take um, Get Lost for minus 100, please. Wink. Here's your question, players. Danger, danger. I'm the 60s sci-fi TV series about a robot, a doctor named Zachary, and a space family Robinson. Alan? You are lost in space, Lost Wink. in space, yes. And Justice for Al for minus 100. I'm the building where the mayor works and the 1996 political drama that paired Pacino with idealistic John Cusack but failed to get votes at the box office. Lori? You are City Hall. Yes, for 100. Um, get lost for minus 50, please, Link. In the title of a Neil Simon play and movie, I'm the New York City borough the cast is lost in. Alan? You are Yonkers, Yes, Link. for $50. Behind I'm on the radio, minus 100. I'm the country singer who advised women to stand by your man, but also had a hit with D-I-V-O-R-C-E. Again, Alan. You are Tammy Wynette. You are exactly right. Yeehaw, I'm on the radio for minus 50. Completing that category, I'm the Willie Nelson pen one-word song that had an insane number of sales for Patsy Cline. Hanan. You are crazy, Wynette. Yes, C-R-A-Z-Y, crazy. <laughs> Okay, that's the end of General Debt, and I'm sorry to say that you, Laurie, in the center have the highest score, and unfortunately, in our game of debt, that means you are eliminated, but you won't go home empty-handed. Julie, what do we have for Laurie, please? Well, Laurie, to help you and your BMW get back on the road to financial recovery, here's our very own debt piggy bank, along with a $200 savings bond. Look at some bills. We'll be back to see Alan and Hanan battle it out for a chance to have us pay off all their debts right after this. And now, let's get deeper into debt with Wink Martindale. Welcome back to debt, everybody. We're down to two players now. Hanan got into a debt problem because of his master's degree. He's in the lead with minus $6,068. Alan has a big mortgage. That's where his debt problem came in. He has minus $6,918, a difference of only $850 between you two. At the end of this round, though, one of you, the one with the least debt remaining, will have a chance to have us pay off your entire debt. But first... We're going to play a little gambling debt, okay? In this round, I'm going to show you a category, and then you'll wager between yourselves to see who can answer the most questions correctly out of five. Category values increase throughout the round, and $300 will be at stake on our first category, which is Sport Speak. Sport Speak. And since you're behind, Alan, we'll let you start the bidding. I can answer three, Wink. I can Alan? answer four, Wink. Alan? Prove it. Alan says prove it. You need four out of five for the $300. I'm slang for a slam dunk in basketball, and I'm a type of product made by smuckers. You're a jam wing. Yes, that's one. I'm what you call a hole-in-one on the golf course, and the first name of that loser pet detective. You are an ace wink? Yeah, ace. Ace Ventura. 
I'm what football players often do to the football after scoring a touchdown and the name of Elvis Costello's 1989 album. Your dance, Wink. No, Spike. Spike. Okay, you have two. You still need both of these for the money. I'm a flightless bird and the word for bowling three strikes in a row. You are a turkey. Yes, you got in just in time. One more for $300. I'm a type of rotating jump in figure skating and the last name of the family terrorized in the Amityville Horror. Lutz. Allen gets the money. $300 off his debt. L-U-T-Z. Moving along to our $400 category, it is Stop Making Sense. This category is all about inexpensive perfume and cologne. All right, we'll start the bidding with you, Alan. I can answer three, Wink. Go for four. I can answer four, Wink. Prove it. Alan says prove it again, four out of five for the $400. Hanan, I'm the melodic women's perfume whose slogan is always on my mind. Well, someone's mind anyway. You are Charlie Wink? No, wind song. Wind song. Four left, you need them all. With an ad featuring frightening vocals by Cindy Crawford, I'm the Revlon fragrance that's kind of young, kind of now, kind of free, kind of wow. Now you are Charlie Wink. Yeah, that's Charlie. That's the one you were looking for. Look for the ship on my ivory bottle. I'm the ancient sounding cologne that'll make any man smell like he's been away at sea. You are uh, Cuddy Sarkwin. No, Old Spice. Oh, Alan gets the money. Old Spice cologne. So, Alan, you get that off your debt. Moving along now to our $500 category. Like Reiner, like son. Yeah! This category is about films directed by Carl Reiner or his son, Rob. I can answer <clears throat> five. Wait. He answers five of these. Alan, five out of five will give you $500. I'm Rob's 1989 date movie where in a memorable diner scene, Rob's mom says to a waitress, I'll have what she's having. You're... When Harry meets Sally. No, I'm sorry. It's when Harry met Sally. You have to have the exact title. And we give that money to Hanan. $500 off his debt. Titles have to be exact. When Harry met Sally. So let's move along to our $750 category, which is Arresting TV from the 70s. These questions are about 70s cop shows. Cop shows of the 70s. Hanan, start the bidding. I can answer four, Wink. Alan. Prove it. Alan says, prove it. Four out of five, Hanan. I'm the actor upstaged by sexy policewoman Angie Dickinson, even though I played her boss, Lieutenant Bill Crowley. You are Holloman, Wink. Yes, Earl Holloman. That's one, three to go. I'm the dramatic duo detective show that might have Paul Michael Glazer cracking the case of David Soule's missing career. You are Stasky and Hutch, Wink. That is correct. Two down, two left. I'm the show where George Stanford Brown, Michael Antkeen, and Sam Melville played newly minted cops. You are the rookies, Wink. That's correct. Three down, you need one more for the money. I'm the show that featured special weapons expert Steve Forrest as Lieutenant Hondo Harrelson. You are SWAT, Wink. You get the money, 750 off your debt. Both of you are still in it. Whoever answers and gets this category, of course, wins the game. It's worth $1,500. Mondo Movie Melodies. This category is all about hit songs from the movies. Hit songs from the movies. Hanan, start the bidding, please. I can answer three, Wink. I Alan? can answer four, Wink. You want to go three. higher, Hanan? Hanan says prove it. Alan, to win the game, you must answer four out of five of these. If you don't get four out of five, of course, Hanan wins the game. Number one, I'm the craggly-faced Canadian who crooned everything I do, I do it for you in 1991's Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. The answer is Brian Adams. That was a hit for Brian Adams. So, of the four left, you got to have them all, Alan, to win. What a feeling. I'm the singer who belted out the theme from Fame and Flashdance. Irene Cara, Hanan has won the game. Irene Cara. So, Hanan, you're going on to the final round with a chance to have us pay off everything you owe, and you, Alan, will go home with this. What do we have for Alan, Julie? Well, Alan, we can't help you pay off your mortgage, but we will give you one of our debt piggy banks, along with a $500 savings bond. Spend it wisely. What were you about to tell me? 
is on stage with you during Split Second in 1973, not as a contestant, a friend of mine won a card. No, that was Tom Kennedy. A lot of people think we're brothers, but that was him. I didn't host that oh. show. Alan, congratulations to you. You played well, although you didn't win. And Hanan, congratulations to you. We'll be back to see if Hanan can move out of the red and into the black right after this commercial message. Bill's got you down while well, there's help in sight. If you'd like to be a contestant on debt and you live in the L.A. area, call 213-468-3300. Welcome back to Dead, everybody. I'm standing here with our winner today, Hanan Beiser. He uh, played the first two rounds, eliminated his opponents, and knocked $4,200 off his debt. That's a lot of money. Congratulations, and good luck as we continue. You've now earned the right to have us pay off your entire original debt of $7,289. It's a round we appropriately call Get Out of Debt. If you can answer, Hanan, 10 questions in 60 seconds, your debt of $7,289 will be completely wiped out. Are you ready? Yes. Our category is vacation destinations. This category is about vacation destinations. We set your expiration date at 60 seconds. And your time starts now. I'm the continent where you can cuddle with koalas in Melbourne. Australia. Yeah. I'm the state where you can get a suntan in Sarasota. New Mexico. No. I'm a British crown colony in the Atlantic and a style of shorts. Bermuda. Yeah, I'm the Colorado ski town that shares its name with a kind of tree. Aspen. Yeah, I'm the East Coast city that held a revolutionary tea party. Boston. Yes, I'm the city where you'll find croissants and the Eiffel Tower. Paris. Yes, I'm the country that gave us Beck's beer and Marlena Dietrich. Germany. Yes, I'm the canal city where you'll find the Heineken Brewery. Amsterdam. And Am yes, I'm the windy home to the Sears Tower and Soldier Chicago. Field. Yes, I'm the famous city for jazz, Tulane University. New Orleans. Yes, I'm the city that's home to cable cars and pro football 49ers. Yes! Congratulations, well done. The only one you passed on, suntan in Sarasota would be Florida. Sarasota, Florida. Congratulations, Anon. You are officially out of debt. We're going to pay off your entire debt of $7,289. But now you've got a big decision to make because we're going to offer you the opportunity to bet your debt. When we selected you to be a player on this show, you told us your specialty category in the world of pop culture was the TV show The Odd Couple. Before the show, we prepared one question about the TV show The Odd Couple. And if you can answer the question correctly, we'll not only pay off your debt of $7,289, we'll also give you that same amount in cash. And here it is in Mr. Clean's briefcase. However, if you go for the money and you miss, you lose everything. It's a big risk, but I think you'll agree it's a big payoff. We're going to give you a little time to think about what you want to do as we take our final commercial break. We'll be right back, everybody. Don't go away. It's time for another big money moment on debt. Welcome back, everybody. This is that moment we look forward to. I don't know how much Hanan is looking forward to this, but you've had some time to think it over. If you go for it, this question right here, held by Mr. Clean, will be worth $14,578. So what's it going to be? You want to risk it all, go for the big payoff, or stop now and walk away with all your bills paid? No doubt about it, Wink. I'm going for it. Okay. This is the question in this envelope. Answer it right. Get all this money. Now, remember, you'll have 10 seconds to give me your answer after I once ask you the question. So take all the time you need, just not more than 10 seconds. <laughs> the Odd Couple. Here's your question. Hanan, played by Al Molinaro, I am Murray the Cop's last name. You are Greshler! Yes! Yeah! Congratulations! for your answer. High five. High five.
Tampa. All right. Well, that's all the time we have left, everybody. We'll be back next time with three more big spenders, and we'll do our best, like we did with him, to help get him out of... Yeah. Yes! Wink Martindale. Bye-bye, everybody. Consideration provided by from Oneida Silversmiths, a gift certificate for your choice from a beautiful collection of luxurious stainless flatware and silver bladed hollowware from Oneida Silversmiths. Enjoy the beauty of Harris Lamps, handcrafted ensemble of floor and table lamps with hand tailored textured linen shades. Great lighting from Harris Lamps. Coming up, Veronica Hamill stars in Stop at Nothing. Next, tonight at 9, he's a sex addict. Will his desire for prostitutes destroy everything that's good in his life? Sybil Shepard and William Shatner star in Secrets of a Married Man on the Lifetime Nighttime movie.